Yeah, we had a one-point lead with you know 40 seconds left, and you know, we, you know, unfortunately, we, we fought the you know, three-point shooter, um, but we fought back. We played hard. Stephanie. 
going to give me a shot. Here he goes. He's coming from this end. I'm driving it right here. I'm going to draw, and now I'm going to kick. That's the play. That's the play. Same thing, Eric, right? You see it coming, right? We shouldn't be having to leave our feet like that. Boom. They come in here. I'm sure they still have a taste in their mouth from last year when we sent them home to Atlantic City. Right, I'm sure they're using that as a motivator. They come in here as a coach that it's a must win. It's a must win for them. It's a must win for us. All right, with five games to go, it's a must win. They're going to start playing to the point. All right, he's, he's all A-10, best point guard in the league, preseason, this and that. All right, he's, he's a junkyard dog. All right, you know, they talk about New York City point guard. He's a New York City point guard. All right, he's a hard-nosed kid, and he's their leader. All right, there's no doubt about it. Who runs that team? It's not the coach. It's Jazz. All right, he runs the team. Williams, number three. He's at 8, 10 assists, 7 a game. 16 points a game. He's getting 2.1 steals a game. All right, he's pushing the ball. Makes misses. He's pushing the ball. All right, he loves to change lanes and transition. He loves to come down the left side of the floor and then cross over off his big guy's backs to get to the right side of the floor. And he's looking to probe, get to the rim, dribble drive. All right, he's really, really good in transition. All right, he, he's the man. He's the known. He's the guy. He's the guy, fellas. Last, last against uh, 13 assists. Yeah. 13 assists, one turnover. 13 to 1. All right, he's the guy. We, he's the known. Uh, he runs everything. All right, we did a good job on him last year in the Atlantic 10. We did a sucky job with him up there when we lost by 20. All right, in the Atlantic 10, we did a better job. He's the key. All right, we got to corral him. He can't run the show. All right, and he, and he does. All right, 13 assists last, uh, on, on Saturday, 13 and 1. That, that's, that's pretty good, I think. Right, we got to make sure we guard him. All right, and it's not going to be one guy. It's not going to be Eric Shalon. It's going to be everybody. All right, we got to do a good job on ball screens. They, they run a ball screen for him 95% of the time. All right, we got big guys have to do a good job of that. All right, at the same time, they don't turn you. We're telling you about their pressure. Their pressure is okay, but their pressure isn't great as far as turning you over. They want you to take quick shots. All right, so quick shots <laughs> or bad shots from us equals a turnover. We're going to take care of the ball versus their pressure. Attack their pressure to score like we did last year in Atlantic City. We need to have a positive ratio versus their pressure. Positive turnover, uh, assist to turnover ratio against their pressure. We're going to get open shots and step up and knock them down. All right, attack their pressure to score. We've got 120 minutes left. That's it in the Riley Center. 120 minutes. All right, that's three games. That's not a lot of time. Our backs are against it. All right, but we still, like Coach said, we still control our own destiny. All right, we have five games left. All right, and 120 minutes left in the RC, and that's it for you, Meech. That's it for you, Chris. That's it for you, Eric. That's it. Mike. All right, we're going to go out for 120 minutes, starting every possession like it's our last on Wednesday night. Good teams, teams that you see in March, are playing their best basketball as February gets old. All right, we're getting toward the end of the month. All right, February's starting to come. We've been close, and we know that's not good enough. All right, last week against LaSalle, we were pretty damn close. We didn't do, do, do enough to win the game. At Richmond, we had our opportunities. We didn't do enough. All right, it's got to come a time, fellas, when you're sick and tired of being on the other side of the loss column. All right? We got to go out tonight for 40 minutes and play every possession like it's our last. Does five mean after five is over, I can't wait till it's done? <laughs> or does five mean five more opportunities to win? What is your mindset? What are you feeling now? Do we want to go out and play and commit and know what we're going to do and execute it? Or do we want these five games to get over with? If the mindset is that the goals are still attainable, and we'll play our ass off. We'll compete. And this, as Coach says, could be the turning point. Could be the turning point.
fellas. Go, we gotta play with energy. Play hard and execute, 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 execute. 20 minutes, 20 minutes. It was a great game. Um, I'm really proud of our guys, the effort that they gave, um, you know, coming off two heart, heartbreakers, um, you know, they, they could have uh, could have caved in, could have faded. Alright guys, over here. 
Second group, CLDs. Right, get out. Let's go now. Next thing I'll do, I'll scream for the two man. Okay, so Keisha on the block, he'll scream for the two man. He'll go off to the shot here. Hit Charlotte. All right, and then as the ball comes in bounds, you're going to down screen here for the three coming to the top. So he's looking catch and shoot for the corner to wing or catch and shoot here. They go to the top, they're going to look to play. Okay, set it again. We're X it up. We're X it up. All right, they're coming off the score. All right, they're coming off the score. All right, so we're sitting here, we see it. Here goes the screen. Boom, we're taking them away. Taking them away. Now, all right, they've seen us in game one. All right, set up again. They may screen the inbounder. All right, they may screen the inbounder. All right, so he goes off and screen the inbounder. All right, we just stay right with him. Stay right with him. All right, and once he catches it, all right, here comes that down screen. They're coming off for a shot. You want to switch that, coach? If we're doing a good job, fellas, they shouldn't catch the ball here. All right, do it again. Do it again. Okay, push the ball hard in transition. He's an end-to-end -end attack. End-to-end -end attack. If he gets the rebound, he's going to try to go coast-to-coast -coast every single time. Okay, 13-plus field goal attempts a game in the A-10. He's got twice as many steals in Atlantic 10 plays as his next teammate. All right, he's the guy that makes him go. Right. Coach makes a good point. All right, he's Chaz Williams. He's not, not as good as Chaz Williams now. He's only a freshman. All right, but he is Chaz Williams. All right, we got to keep him out of the paint. All right, as a freshman, he's got 130 assists. As a freshman, 130 assists, 90 turnovers. All right, Meech is our leader with 75. All right, he's got 130, 130. All right, in, in the Atlantic 10 play, he's got 64 and 41. All right, he's the engine. All right, he's, he's there, Chaz Williams. All right, you've got to be able to guard the three-point line. And part of guarding the three-point line is keeping Coulter out of the paint. All right, he gets those seven assists. Uh, a lot of those assists are off of uh, are from threes, because right, he's getting in the paint, driving and kicking. Right, you got to do a great job on ball screen defense, because for the most part, it's him or Johnson in the ball screen. Him or Johnson in the ball screen. Right, we got to do a great job keeping them out of the paint. The guard that's guarding it, the big that's supporting it, and the other guys that are one pass away. All right, we worked on it today. All right, we got to do a better job tomorrow night in that ball screen in it, um, sets, just like Coach was talk, talking about. It's going to be open all night. It's going to be open all night. And right, we got to guard it. All right, we, we work on ball screen. We run it. All right, we should be able to guard this stuff. We have wake up at 9 o'clock tomorrow. We have breakfast in the restaurant, first floor at 9.30. All right, and we're leaving at 10.40 for shoot around. All right, so 9 o'clock, wake up, 9.30, first floor, restaurant. And the restaurant is, you're going to go by the bar. It's over on the other side of the bar. All right, steal that. All right, that's at 9.30, then we're leaving at 10.40.
Alright, keep behind, keep behind, keep behind. Oh, alright. Chest, 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 chest. Chest, mix, chest, mix. Chest. Triple hand off, weak side interchange. Hit, cut. Help, freeze. Clear screen. Fuse suit. Fuse suit. Again, fuse suit. Let's concentrate. Concentrate. This is a winnable game. Right, all we got to do is out rebound. Right, if we out rebound them, we will beat the Barnes. Right, you know what that means? Right, they want to out talk us. Right, that ain't here. Right, this game has to be more to us, fellas. Right, in the paper, you can read it. Right, we're playing the young guys for next year. Right, we ain't playing the young guys for next year. Right, we're playing for this year. For this year. Team on three. One, two, three. Three. Don't, don't cut me off. Don't cut me off. Just say what you got. Just a therapy session. Can I can I end the intro? Oh, my bad. You got a bad lead, man. Good boy. We're playing to get the perk. If it doesn't mean more to us than to them, there's something seriously wrong. If freshmen are going to play harder than us, if freshmen want it more than us, or it means more to them, then there's something seriously wrong. And I doubt that's going to happen. I doubt that's going to happen. Your best teams at the end of the year are your best teams because they have seniors that care. That care. They're going to put it all in the line because they know it's almost over. It's almost over. All right, for those freshmen that do came, yeah, three more years. And they think it's going to go slow. And everybody knows it. It goes freaking fast as, heaven, as ever. Right, but we can't allow freshmen to take away what we need in the next four games. Right, we wanted to get five. Right, we got one. We got one. Right, now we got to get the second. Professional teams in Pittsburgh. Steelers, Penguins, and uh, those are the only ones I can name off. And then do the Pirates play out here? All right, there we go. What movie starred Julius Irving as a, as a basketball player in Pittsburgh? I have no idea. You know, John? No. You don't even know who Julius Irving is? No. That's what I know. Dr. J? Really Dr. J. Oh, Dr. J is. You know who Dr. J is? Yeah, that's Julius Irving. He starred in a movie called The Fish That Saved Pittsburgh. It's Moses Guthrie. It was, was it a movie? No. It wasn't? Yeah. Because it just wasn't a very good movie. Yeah. Being from L.A., where, where do you, where, if you had to go to a baseball game, where would you go? Angels or? Is that far from where you live? No. Is Anaheim away? Yeah, that's like. Is it really? Oh, wow. And, and that stadium is right outside this one. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was a high school with my boy. Let's go to Bush Town. St. Mark's. Who's that? Ruben. Uh, how tall is he? Six. I want to say ten. I'm not mistaken. Yusuf. Yeah. Do you know the three professional teams that are in Pittsburgh? Yeah. Penguin. Steelers. And... I need the third boy team. <laughs>
Fuck it. 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 I'm gonna go after the season. I'm gonna go to a hockey game. Hockey, huh? Yeah. Sabers? Yep. Really? You like it? I never was, so that's why I won't go. Okay. Did you have it in Maine where you were at at Lee? Mm. I don't know. I don't think so. I never won it. Well, yeah, you probably at games. Twenty three Jones, six three, one ninety freshman, aggressive wing. Matthew start out on him, okay. He's a two three wing guard. Um, Jordan you'll see him. And Meach you may see him some too, just depending on lineups, okay? Be ready for that, all right? Eight field goal attempts a game in the last five, okay? So playing aggressive, half of those are threes, okay? Half of those are threes. That's not what he does best, all right? But he's got 40 attempts in the last five games, and 20 of them are threes, okay? So make sure we're high hands, all right? Understand that he's best off the bounce, all right? So shorten up your closeouts, throw those hands up, all right? Be ready for him to attack off the bounce. Play him with length, all right? Contain, keep him out of the lane, and we want to take charges on him. Okay, now, coach went over all of this stuff. Right? You know them better than, than we know them. You play against them. Right? You know how quick they are. You know their strengths. The, the kid that's playing better, that played really bad against us is 21. Right? He's playing really well now. Right? Against us, he had no points. None. Right? But he's playing his ass off now. Right? We have to make sure right, we don't sleep on him. They don't think like, oh, he sucked in game one. Right? He's changed. Right? And a lot of times, freshmen change as they go through the year. Right? We've got to make sure... We're understanding we're guarding this guy. Okay? We had a goal from the very beginning of the year to get to Brooklyn. And we have four games left. And we control our destination. Right? Do we want to be in Brooklyn in March? It's in our hands. We don't have to worry about anybody. We don't need anybody to lose. We don't need anybody to win. All we need to do is win. Decisions. Don't turn the ball over. You'll turn it over, but don't do it because you're lazy or you're trying to make a play where it's not there. Be smart. Make secondaries to score. Make sure we're sprinting, we're not jogging. All right, into runner. We can get stop in transition. They're not a good transition defensive team. All right, they don't have floor balance. We want to go. I miss this, same thing. Primary, get numbers. All right, you can't get numbers, fellas, if you're not sprinting. All right, making sure we're looking ahead. We're making decisions. We want layups, dunks, and open threes. And if we don't, then we run offense. Destination is Brooklyn. If that's where you want to go, it's right in your hands. We got to play harder, we got to play smarter, and we got to play unselfishly. And if we do that, we'll get number two. Number two or five. Number two or five. But you cannot go out there, fellas, and play soft and think it's just going to happen. Right? We got to make it happen today for 40 minutes. Make it happen for 40 minutes. Right? We have too much to lose. They got nothing. They're talking already about next year. All right? Next year in here, fellas, we're winning this year.
an effort once or twice and then twice we won't. That, that's the game. We're not given consistent effort. There's times when they're outworking us. And does this game mean more to us than them? We've got guys out there that aren't given a consistent effort. Once in a while. Sometimes. Fellas, if you want to win, you've got to give it most of the time. Great teams give it all the time. I'm just asking most of the time. Now, what did I say before the game? They're quoting the paper from their coach. Win the backboard, win the game. All right? Win the backboard, win the game. All right, pay attention now. Dimitri, you've got three rebounds. Chris, you got none. Yusu, you got one. Eric, you got none. Right, you got one. Kluf, you got one. Gathers, you got one. You can't win that way. We gotta rebound the ball. They're winning the rebounding. That small team is beating us 17 to 13. They got seven second chance points. We got none. You lose the backboard, you will lose this game. And then we, can we get it for 20 minutes? Can we get it for 20 minutes? Bring it in here. Bring it in. Go, 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 someone down by 10, yeah. right? the IRA, you curb them. Right? You knock them out, put their mouth on a curb, step on the back of their neck, and knock the teeth out. That's what you do. You're ruthless. Right? When you have someone down by 10, you knock them out. Right? You can't let them back. You can't let them back. Right? We let them back. But then we fought, and we found a way. Right? we got to play more consistent. And if we play more consistent, fellas, the next three games we'll win. But we can't give one, stop playing for one. Play for two, stop playing for three. We're not good enough. No team is good enough. It's tied to Bonaventure Records for road victories in the Atlantic 10. Yeah, we're going to break it against Dayton. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. Good job. Good job. Good job, Meech. Good job, Chris. Big hole. Big hole. Yeah, we're down, down by four at halftime. Rebounding. One by nine. Yeah. 13. Yep. Yep. That's what won the game, fellas. Seniors, you got two more opportunities. All right, last Saturday night of your career in the Riley Center. All right, there is absolutely no way that this team is coming in here and taking our night. All right, this is our night. All 
All right, this is our night. We get it back to even in the Atlantic 10 tonight. After starting over, we're climbing all the way back tonight. All right, team effort. Everybody pulling together. 40 minutes. We're ready to go to war and take it right at them for 40 minutes. Don't lay back. Don't wait. Go right on the jump. Right on the jump and bust them in the mouth every single possession. We take it right at them tonight. We start a senior point guard, a junior two guard, a senior three man, a senior four man, and a sophomore five. We come off the bench with a junior, a sophomore, a senior, a, a senior. All right, we got to stay disciplined. All right, discipline, no technicals, discipline. All right, making sure each one of you guys is doing your job. All right, doing your job. All right, we're going to play harder, smarter, more together. Number three, number seven gets us back to 500, and that's the goal, fellas. And we got three games left. That's the goal. That's the goal. And we're not going to get there if we don't take care of this game here. Yeah, they, 
they, they shot the ball well. They made plays when they needed to make plays. And the game was lost uh, in the first five minutes of the second half. And they went and they scored seven out of ten possessions. And we had some opportunities. Um, we cut it down to six, um, you know, with the ball. But, you know, we didn't. Dillard is a really good player. That's why he's a first team only player. This is number four. Number four, I remind you. Demetrius Conger. Oh. Flying in. The bodies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Getting some serious air. Okay, guys, four. Let's have a start with one Frazier. 6'3, 170. Junior, Christian, start out on him. Okay. Uh, Charmaine, Jordan, you guys will see him too. Okay, team's best perimeter player overall. Uh, about 13 and 5 in Atlantic 10 play. Uh, he's going to have the ball in his hands. Okay, He's going to have the ball in his hands 90% of the time. He's going to initiate offense. He's going to have the ball at the end of the clock. Okay, Loves the shot fake. Uh, not great from three, but very streaky and very capable. Okay, So we want to treat him like he's a really good shooter. All right? In your stance, high hands. All right? He's going to attack off ball screens. He's got to play him straight up with length. All right? Contain contest. Make sure we're chasing him off out screens. He'll be in the hole and the, and the fingers down. Okay, Make sure we're working. All right, make sure we're working on him. We just don't want to give him any uncontested layups, all right, any uncontested shots. We want to make sure when he gets in the lane, if he gets in the lane, that we're stepping up, taking charges, all right, making it difficult on him. When he gets in the lane, that's when he's really good. All right, we got to keep him out. Zoner, man, make sure we're executing. All right, execute like we know how. Execute like we've done in our good games, and we will take care of business, all right? Senior day, let's send our seniors out the right way. Okay, Meech, Mike, you guys have had a lot of great moments in this building. The last four years. All right, Eric, Chris, the last two years. All right, let's make this one. You always remember your senior day. All right, every one of these coaches in here remembers their senior day. You always remember it, good or bad. All right, make it a great day. All right, make it a great day with great effort, great passion. That's when it's fun. All right, we're playing championship basketball today. Get ready for it. We need one home game. All right, we're going to go out there, play free, play relaxed, play your ass off. If we play harder than them, we will win. We will win. Anybody have any questions? So for, um, for the ball screens, you said for Gasson is one step and out. And yeah, and the other one, you're playing it hard. Yeah, you're playing it hard. Playing it hard. Okay? Any other questions? Let's pray. Let's pray. It's against UMass. It's time. And it's been a one of St. Bonaventure's most consistent performers. The junior college transfer ranks third out of 10. Since Davenport's arrival in 2008, the, the Brooklyn native has been a part of 65 victories. And another one of two trip for Conger. Here's a quick outlet pass and an easy bucket for Ron Kloof. And on the trailer, Kloof will throw it down. On the previous possession off the feed from Demetrius Conger, comes Conger. Conger with five, drops it off, and no. No, you got 20 minutes. That's all you got. 20 <clears throat> minutes. And you want to make it the best of your life. You want to make the, the first, the best of your life, didn't we? Did we give the effort that you is required to win this game? Didn't we? Because we're lazy, we're still playing, throwing stupid passes. All right, so we want movement against it. All right, movement against it. All right? Coach, say anything. Ball movement, rip the gaps and attack. Ball movement, rip the gaps and attack. Don't let okay. the zone be a stop sign. All right, you beat the zone down the court by getting stops and going. All right, you beat it down the court. That's how you attack it. And get the ball swung. All right, don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Everybody understand? 20 minutes to get to Brooklyn. 20 minutes. All right, we have 20 minutes to play the best basketball we can play all season to get to New York City. 
How do you want to finish your career? How do you want to finish your career, man? How do you want to finish your career, man? Let's go. Sloppy play here as the bodies turned it over, but got it right back. Here's Johnson, the scoop. And the five on the shot clock. Kluth knocked it away. Down on the floor. Frazier. Gaston. Got it in the. A team out of you, that's when it tells you they played hard. 11. Plus 11. And we talk, we talk, we talk. Yeah, we're going to go. Come on, guys. They go up in the second half, fellas. In the second half, they shoot 59%. And we sit in here and we talk about 20 minutes. 20 minutes, that's what you got in your career, 20 minutes. And we go out, we allow them to shoot 59%. We have 24 rebounds. 24. You're supposed to have 24 halfway through the second half. 24. Just got out tough, fellas. They wanted it's scary, but they wanted it more than us. And they had freshmen and sophomores on the team. Freshmen and sophomores. Kid hits the shot, freshman. Catches up to you. Like we talk about all the time about playing hard, playing hard, playing hard. Did we play hard at Dayton? No. Did we play hard tonight? No. In spurts. In spurts. But you can't play at this level. It's amazing we haven't figured that out yet. You can't play in spurts. And now that, that's been it like the whole season. We play in spurts. We ain't tough enough. Playing hard is a talent. It's a talent. It's a talent. And we got guys in need that don't play hard all the time. Don't play hard. That's why you lose, fellas. Put it all up there, all up there. And you fight, you fight, you fight. You get up in the morning, and then you go out there and freaking lay an egg. Because of our effort. Effort. They're the worst shooting team in the league. And we allow them to shoot 58%. Twenty-one second chance points. Twenty-one second chance points. Forty-two to twenty-eight in the paint. Forty-two to twenty-eight in the paint. All to do with your heart. Just didn't rebound. We didn't rebound. We didn't rebound.